Graco's new ProShot 2 cordless handheld sprayer represents the latest technology in handheld portable paint sprayers. The ProShot 2 sprayer is so simple to use and delivers a professional quality finish on a wide variety of painting applications, from interior and exterior painting jobs to spraying doors and smaller jobs. The ProShot 2 cordless model includes a durable carrying case, Pro Control spray pressure adjustment, a 515 reversible spray tip, storage startup tool, free pump repair kit, cup cover, and two 20 volt rechargeable lithium ion batteries and a battery charger. The ProShot 2 sprayer requires no thinning of materials. Thinning the material degrades the color, meaning application of multiple coats would be needed to achieve the originally desired color. With the ProShot 2 sprayer, you will achieve a professional quality finish with just one spray coat. As with any power tool, understanding safe use and operation is very important. Always wear appropriate safety equipment when spraying. Avoid putting your hands directly in front of the spray tip. Make sure to refer to your operation manual for all warnings and safety information. And never use any materials with your ProShot 2 sprayer that are labeled as flammable. Here are some of the common procedures when using your ProShot 2 sprayer. You should always engage the trigger lock when not spraying to avoid accidentally triggering the sprayer. The trigger is unlocked and ready to spray when the red ring is visible. The reversible spray tips can be rotated to two positions. When the tip is pointed forward, it is in the spray position. When reversed, it is in the unclogged position to remove any debris that may accumulate from the material being sprayed. The prime spray valve on the side of the sprayer also has two positions. Lift the valve to the up position to release pressure and to prime the sprayer, and put the valve in the down position to spray. The piston pump in the ProShot 2 sprayer generates high pressure. Lift the prime spray valve to the up position to relieve internal pressure whenever not spraying, or when checking or cleaning the sprayer. You can also relieve pressure by pushing the prime spray valve in. The ProShot 2 sprayer comes with the Pro Control feature that allows you to adjust the spraying pressure. Ideally, you would spray at the lowest possible pressure to reduce overspray, increase control, and achieve the best spraying pattern possible. When using water-based materials or latex paint, you can clean your ProShot 2 sprayer simply with water. With oil-based materials, use only mineral spirits that are non-flammable. ProShot 2 batteries are shipped with a 50% charge and should be fully charged before they are used. Simply slide the battery into the charger and the charger status light will turn on within 5 seconds. A flashing red light indicates the battery is charging with less than an 80% charge and should not be used. A flashing green light indicates the battery has reached an 80% charge and may be used. A solid green light indicates a full charge. A solid red light means the battery is too hot to charge and must cool before charging. The sprayer also has a status indicator light that comes on when the trigger is pulled. No light indicates normal charged operation. A solid red light indicates the battery is low and needs to be recharged. A flashing red light means the temperature is too high or the tip is clogged. A fully charged battery will spray up to four quarts of material. Here are the steps for setting up your ProShot 2 sprayer. The sprayer arrives from the factory with a small amount of test material in the sprayer that must be flushed before using the sprayer for the first time. Repeat this same procedure before each use to remove any storage fluid in the sprayer. Engage the trigger lock and lift the prime spray valve to the up position. Remove the cup and suction tube from the sprayer. Hold the sprayer upside down and insert the pump armor nozzle into the material inlet to make sure it moves up and down freely. Reinstall the suction tube, making sure the inlet of the tube is toward the front of the sprayer. Make sure your battery is fully charged. Then 
Fill the cup with water and thread the cup onto the sprayer. Lift the prime spray valve to the up position, disengage the trigger lock, and trigger the sprayer for five to 10 seconds to prime. Remove the material cup, then holding the sprayer slightly above the material cup, pull the trigger to discharge the material from the sprayer. Discard the remaining fluid that's in the cup. Now that the storage fluid is removed from the sprayer, let's get the sprayer ready to spray. Fill the material cup and with the prime spray valve in the up position, thread the cup onto the sprayer. To begin using the sprayer, disengage the trigger lock and trigger for five to 10 seconds. Then release the trigger and put the prime spray valve down to the spray position. You are now ready to spray. The ProShot 2 sprayer comes with the Pro Control feature that allows you to adjust the spraying pressure. Ideally, you would spray at the lowest possible pressure to reduce overspray, increase control, and achieve the best spraying pattern possible. When spraying thicker material, start at setting 5 and practice spraying on a piece of cardboard. If the spray pressure is too low, you will see tails or a gap between the solid spray pattern and the outside edge. Increase the spray pressure until you achieve an acceptable spray pattern. When spraying thinner material, such as stain, start at setting 1 and keep increasing the pressure until you achieve an acceptable spray pattern. If material is not coming out of the sprayer, the pressure is not high enough and you need to increase the pressure. Narrow and wide fan pattern spray tips are available for use with the ProShot 2 sprayer. A 515 tip is included with the ProShot 2 sprayer and can handle most materials up to latex and primers with no thinning required. It sprays a 10 to 12 inch fan pattern best suited for larger surfaces such as doors, walls, and ceilings. For smaller surfaces, a narrow tip will be useful. We recommend the 315. For heavier latexes and primers, use the 517 tip for best results. The 211 narrow tip is best suited for thin or semi-transparent stains and clear coats. It sprays a 4 to 6 inch fan pattern for smaller surfaces, such as windows, trim, and molding. For a larger fan pattern when spraying thinner materials, use the 411 to achieve professional results. The 213 and 413 spray tips provide great results on enamel and solid stain applications. For more information, refer to your operation manual to determine the best tip for your painting project. To change the spray tip guard assembly, engage the trigger lock and lift the prime spray valve up to release pressure. Install the filter into the tip guard assembly by turning it left or counterclockwise. Then firmly screw the tip guard assembly onto the sprayer. You may experience slight resistance when attaching the tip guard assembly, but hand tighten the retaining nut until it is completely engaged with the sprayer. If not fully tightened, a poor spray pattern or damage to the tip and guard assembly could occur. Here are some of the basics of spraying technique. Hold the sprayer at least 10 inches from the surface and adjust accordingly to achieve the desired results. Aiming the sprayer straight at the surface to be painted results in the most even finish. When the sprayer is at an unequal distance to the surface, there will be uneven coverage of material. Flexing your wrist when spraying side to side also helps to deliver a more even finish. Keeping your arm straight while spraying side to side will apply more material in the middle of the pass where the sprayer is closer to the surface, resulting in uneven coverage. Another technique to deliver even spraying is to start your motion before triggering and releasing the trigger before ending your stroke. Triggering the sprayer before moving will result in a heavier buildup at the beginning of your pass. Also, aim your sprayer at the bottom of the previous stroke, overlapping each pass by 50%. An uneven spray motion will mean uneven coverage. Practice on a piece of cardboard to determine the correct speed for the material you're spraying. Spraying too fast results in a light pulsing pattern. Spraying too slowly will apply too much material, especially on vertical surfaces, and can result in drips or runs. The proper speed delivers an even professional finish. Occasionally, 
Debris from material can accumulate and clog the spray tip. To unclog a tip obstruction, engage the trigger lock and lift the prime spray valve up to release pressure. Rotate the spray tip to the unclogged position. Disengage the trigger lock and aim the sprayer into a waste area to clear the clog. With the Pro Control feature, the pressure might need to be increased to spray out the tip clog. Disengage the trigger lock, put the prime spray valve down, and hold the trigger to clear the clog. Rotate the spray tip back to the spray position, reset the pressure control to your previous spray setting, and check the spray pattern on a test area. Repeat the unclogging process until you achieve a clean spray pattern. If unclogging does not fix the problem, you may need to remove the tip and filter for further cleaning. After excessive wear, you may need to replace the tip assembly itself. Cleaning your ProShot 2 sprayer is important for continued professional quality performance and results. To clean the sprayer, engage the trigger lock and flip the prime spray valve up to release pressure. If using water-based material, clean with water. For oil-based materials, use non-flammable mineral spirits as your flushing fluid. Remove the material cup. Pour the remaining material back into its original container and dispose of the liner. Remove and clean the sprayer intake tube and screen with warm soapy water or flushing fluid. Reconnect the suction tube. Clean the cup if not using a liner and fill it with water or appropriate flushing fluid. Reconnect the material cup and shake the sprayer to clean all areas inside the cup and the underside of the sprayer. With the prime spray valve up, disengage the trigger lock and trigger the sprayer for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. Engage the trigger lock. Discard the contaminated fluid and refill the cup with water or flushing fluid. Reverse the spray tip to the unclogged position, put the prime spray valve down, and pull the trigger into a waste area until no paint appears in the flushing fluid. Engage the trigger lock, lift the prime spray valve up to release pressure, remove the tip guard assembly, and clean with water or flushing fluid. A soft brush can be used to loosen and remove dried material. To clean the exterior of your sprayer, wipe off with a soft cloth moistened with water or flushing fluid. Never submerge your sprayer in any type of fluid. Tips will require replacement after heavy use or after spraying abrasive material. Spraying with a worn tip will result in a poor spray pattern. Proper storage will increase your sprayer's life. Lift the prime spray valve up, then remove the material cup and suction tube. Remove the child resistant cap and thread on the pump armor nozzle. With your sprayer upside down, squeeze the cleaning bottle until pump armor flows out of the drain tube. Remove the bottle and wipe the inside of the sprayer to remove any excess pump armor. Remove the pump armor nozzle and thread on the child resistant cap. Reattach the suction tube and material cup. Push the prime spray valve to the spray position. Properly dispose of the pump armor mixture. Put your sprayer in its case and store it in the upright position in a cool, dry place. Properly cleaned and stored, your ProShot 2 sprayer will be ready to go on your next paint job.